What's going on there folks? Good Thursday evening. Uh, it is Earthmaster here jumping in on the live stream June 17th, 2021 about 9.51 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake, a 2.7 earthquake in California, Southern California that is. A little bit of uptick in earthquake activity taking place around the Los Angeles region. Let's go ahead and see if I can get this to pop up here hopefully um, with the USGS map. There we go. Got to click the right one. There is the movement there in Southern California that we're kind of monitoring. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit closer. This is a 2.5 and above just to show you the uh, quakes happening outside of the microquake range. It's a movement down around Long Beach area just to the northwest. This 2.7 earthquake striking out there being felt by quite a few folks uh, near uh, Hermo Hermosa Beach area, 10 kilometers below the surface. Uh, also a little bit of movement over here near Big Bear City, uh, another 2.7. So looking at the general scale, including microquake activity, um, looks a little calm down here through the San, Z San Jacinto Fault area. Uh, but these two quakes over here lo around Long Beach and the uh, Big Bear area just uh, kind of adding to some of the pressure out here, the swarm that's taking place there in the Salton Sea area is continuing to die down a little. Uh, we're looking at about oh, 17 earthquakes, 15 earthquakes or so in this general area, but don't let that fool you. Um, this thing could stop and then we could see a big quake. Who knows? Uh, just something to be on guard about. Um, let's see what else we got here. Around the Ridgecrest area, some microquake movement and also up through Nevada, Lake Tahoe. We talked about that, a uh, little bit of movement there in Lake Tahoe, as far as the microquakes go, right underneath the lake, negative, <laughs> negative 0.1, okay. And some movement northwest of Truckee once again. Uh, coastal ranges over here looking pretty calm, uh, except for the geyser area, which is always active on any given day. Uh, some movement along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. And a little bit of movement kind of kicking up up here around the Gorda Ridges. This is a little 2.9 into the Gordo Ridges, way off the coast of Gold Beach, Oregon. And a little bit of movement into the uh, Cascadia Megathrust Fold area at 23 kilometers below surface for that 2.4. Uh, as far as volcano activity goes, a little bit of movement around Mount Hood once again, maybe a little swarming. Uh, zooming in here shows about six earthquakes or so. Largest uh, looks to be about a 1.7. Most of these have some variable depths, depths to them. Uh, so kind of keep an eye on them. Uh, Idaho, Idaho kind of rocking and rolling. And also through the Intermountain West regions down into Utah. Uh, a little bit of earthquake activity, of course, in Indiana. We talked about that earlier, 3.8. Notice that it's in the red, 3.8 in the red. That's because a 3.8 out here is kind of rare. Any size earthquake out here in this uh, portion of the country, North American plate, is kind of rare. Uh, but don't don't uh, let it fool you. They do get some larger quakes as well. Uh, I think it was 1909 or so when uh, there was a, uh, a much larger one that struck here. I think a 5.1 or so. Uh, so the uh, possibility of seeing a larger quake out here definitely exists. If you didn't check out my last update video, um, I will include it towards the end of this video as a link. Um, some further movement along the New Madrid fault system. But uh, Texas kind of taking in the action tonight near uh, uh, south of Guadalupe Peak out there around Pecos, Texas in this linear fashion. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Alaska seeing a little bit of movement. Hawaii kind of swarming up here uh, over the last 24, right in the southeast flank area. And also some heightened earthquake activity around the Kilauea volcano. Mauna Loa looking a little active as well, but... Uh, you know, just kind of doing its thing, keeping an eye on that right now. Uh, Japan, somewhat quiet. All along the Pacific Ring of Fire, somewhat quiet uh, for uh, moderate and even major earthquakes there. So we'll see what the night brings. Over here in the, uh, what do we got there, Uganda? Lake Victoria area, seen a 4.6. This is set at uh, 101 kilometers north-northwest of Mazoma. 
Tanzania. Kenya over here to the east. So, uh, yeah, what do we got? South America as well. A little bit of movement along the Peru-Chile Trench. And, uh, of course, into the Dominican Republic. We're looking at that activity kind of calming down compared to what we've seen over the last week here where we've seen a pretty good influx of, of uh, uh, well, swarms, I guess, if you will, along the Puerto Rico Trench area and also over here towards the Domin Dominican Republic. Uh, today, calming down, so... We'll see what it uh, see what it continues to do. Yeah, what do we got? Yellowstone, pretty quiet, folks. I just I should probably just delete this bookmark right off of my computer because nothing ever happens at Yellowstone anymore. Um, I probably just jinxed it. Trimmer map. A little bit of movement way up, way up to the north, Vancouver Island area. Whole different story, but what? compared to what we've seen in the past couple days with uh, some swarming along the Cascadia at the southern end here in the southwest part of Oregon. Tonight, or at least today, 14 epicenters on the northern part of the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, folks, I'm going to call a night. I uh, hope everyone gets a good night's sleep and uh, uh, enjoys, their, uh, enjoys their evening. It's still 90, uh, what do we got, 91 degrees out here where I live. It hit... 112 degrees today 112 113 tomorrow uh, and i think it's supposed to stay in the right around the 107 range uh for the weekend as well so it's absolutely miserable i'm not even joking i do not like the heat one bit all right guys stay safe out there um like i said a whole lot going on here in my life personally there's a lot I got to do, a lot, lot I got to get caught up on here on the channel. Uh, and that's, you know, it's been put on hold for a little bit. But uh, it's going to be uh, happening pretty soon as far as the 50, 50K subscriber giveaway. Um, and possibly a trip down to the Salton Sea region. Check out uh, a whole lot of stuff down there. Even when there's not earthquake swarms going on, it's pretty cool to check out with some uh, boiling mud pits down there and uh, all sorts of interesting volcanic activity to check out but i'd like to be down there when we're having a significant swarm but uh it's all coming into play folks i just got to get uh few with few a uh few through a few bumps um that's kind of preventing me from doing that at the moment like i say just a lot going on but anyway we'll get it done have a good night folks we'll chat you guys a little bit later please stay safe out there 